when I was setting out to write this book, one of my photographic mentors said, okay, Chris, you're going to write a book on people photography. What's going to set it apart? What's going to be different about it? You know, there are a ton of books out there about photography and about people photography in general. And it was a good question, and I took it to heart. And one of the things that I think that sets this book apart is its format. It's all about exercises. You know, it's so easy to look at other people's photographs and be inspired, to read blogs, to go to conferences and workshops and watch other people do photography. But the only way to get good at photography is to do it yourself, is to make that transition, is to, is to take that leap. You know, I have some photographs that are hanging in my office, and they're, they're, they were created by a world-famous photographer. And I had one student come into my office, and he looked at a picture, and he said, you know, I could do that. And I said, yeah, but you didn't. And you know, that's the point, right? To create good photographs, we have to go out and make these pictures ourselves. It's one thing to see what someone else has done. It's another thing to do it ourselves. And that's what this book, book focuses on. It focuses in on giving you some practical ways that you can explore how to create your own pictures. How you can create pictures that say something that means something to you so that you can develop your own style and voice and ultimately create more compelling, engaging, and alive photographs. I was talking with a friend about this book project and he asked, hey Chris, where did this idea come from of having these different exercises or assignments? And I said, well really it came from my own experience. You know, as a teacher, I found that exercises give students an excuse to learn. In other words, there's certain things that you could do, but you might not do unless someone said, hey, go out and try this. Because you have some preconceived ideas going into a situation thinking, well, this may not work or it might work. But once you try it, once you test it out for yourself, you make these amazing discoveries. Another thing that I've learned from my own experience is that photography is something where you are constantly learning. You're a constant student. In other words, you never arrive. And in my own photographic journey, I'm constantly seeking assignments from other photographers. These are personal assignments. I ask them, hey, you know, can you, can you give me an idea? Give me an assignment. Give me something to do. And they'll say, hey, Chris, I want you to go out and shoot 10 pictures this way and then bring them back to me. And by having that assignment context, again, it kind of forces me to step outside of my comfort zone, outside of something I normally do. And what I've discovered is that by doing that, I've grown by leaps and bounds. And so really the idea for the, this book is wrapped up in that context of education and of being that constant learner. And that's what my hope is for you in this book is that it helps you learn more so that your pictures become stronger. So how best to approach the content in this book in order to get the most out of it? Well, this may be one of those books that you'll find enjoyable to read cover to cover or to just flip through it and to skim to the different sections that are of interest to you. But then at some point, what you're going to need to do is to step back and then focus in on just one small exercise and to give it the time that it needs and ask yourself, okay, how can I accomplish this small task? And what you'll discover is that if you focus in on the little exercises, each of them will act as a building block, which together will develop your skills in a really unique way. So much so that one of my goals for this book is that after you're done with all of the exercises, after you have this wide array of skills, that when you're doing a people photo shoot, you can pull from perhaps five different exercises, five different skills, and use all of those in one photo shoot. But in order to gain the skills, of course, you have to take time. You have to give it time and really savor it and work with the little different elements so that together you can build that strong skill set, which will help you be a better people photographer.